Fourth grade math number 10, add and estimate whole numbers. All right, well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try adding. So let me show you what I did here. We start with the ones column, always, and 4 plus 1 is 5. Now we're going to add the tens column, 7 plus 5. Well, 7 plus 5 is 12, and we can't write the 12 here. So we have to regroup and put the 1 up here and the 2 down here in the 12. The 1 and the 2. The 1 goes to the next column. We carry it over to the hundreds column, and 3 plus 1 is 4, and we write the 4 down here. 0 and 6 is 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. And again, we put the 7 down here, but we have to regroup the, the 1 right here to the next column because we can't put two digits into one column. 5 plus 1 is 6. So our answer is 676,425. Let's try it again. And we've got our math on the side when we added the larger numbers. 6 plus 3 is 9, and 3 plus 9 is 12. We put the 1 up here and carry it over to the next column and put the 2 down here. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. We put that down here. We put our comma. 9 plus 2 is 11. We put the 1 up here for the 10 and the 1 down here for the 1's place. So the 10 got carried over to the next column, to the 10,000's column. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. We put the 4 down, and then 8 plus 1 is 9. And our answer is 941,329. Now, what would happen if we wanted to estimate this answer? How would we do that? Well, the first thing we need to know is that you need to know how to round off numbers to estimate. And if you saw the previous videos, you know my red rule. If the number to the right is 5 or more, it says to go up. Okay? So the number to the right, if it's 5 or more, it says to go up. So we're rounding this place value. <clears throat> the 1 to the right of it is a 9. So that is more than 5. So it's going to tell the 5 to go to a 6. Once the 9 is finished doing its job, it and all the other numbers turn into zeros. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. We put our comma in, and now we need to round off this one. So we're going to round off to the first place. Is 6 bigger than 5? Yes, it is. So it's going to tell the 8 to go up to a 9. And remember, it's in the 10 thousandths place. It's not in the 100 thousandths place. See, that's empty. So it tells it to go to a 9, and then it turns it into a 0, and all these turn into 0. So we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. We put our comma in. Now we can add. 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0. Again, again, put our comma in. 9 plus 0 is 9. Drop the 6. And the answer is 690,000 as an estimate. Now, an estimate is not an exact number. It's about the amount. So the real number was 676,000. This is 690,000. So that's the estimate, okay? Let's try it with this one. This is the number we're going to be rounding to, and this is the number we're going to be rounding to, and these numbers are the ones that tell us what to do. Is the 2 bigger than a 5? No. So it tells the 8 to stay the same, okay? And then when it's finished doing its job, it turns into a zero, and so does all the other numbers. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five zeros. We put our comma in. Now we do the one. The one to the right of it is a one, and that's not bigger than a five, so it's telling the one to stay the same. So one is going to stay the same. And see, it's directly underneath the eight. And then all the other numbers are going to turn into zeros. When one's finished doing its job, it turns into a zero, and so do all the other ones. So we need one, two, three, four, five zeros. Put our comma in. 
So now we have our rounded number and we can add 0, 0, 0, comma, 0, 0, and 9. The real answer was 941,329 and our estimate is 900,000. So it's pretty close. It's not exact. It's just an estimate. Okay? Let's try it again. We're not going to add these. We're just going to do estimates. Okay? So this is the number we're place value we're rounding. The 2 tells the 7 to stay the same. The 2 is done with this job and it becomes a 0. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Put our comma in after the third place mark over. The 8 tells the 1 to go up to a 2. When it's done with its job, it turns into a 0. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Now we can add 0, 0, 0, comma, 0, 9. So 72,931 plus 18,563 is estimated to be about 90,000. Let's try it again. This is the number we're rounding to. The 3 tells the 4 to stay the same. It's done with its job. It becomes a 0, and so do all of these. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. We put in our comma. Here we have a 2. The 0 is not bigger than 5, so it tells the 2 to stay the same. So we've got the 2. It's done with its job, and it stays a 0, and so does everyone else. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros again. We put our comma in, and we add. Comma. 6. 432,051 plus 204,323 is estimated to be about 600,000. Okay, we got one more time we're going to do it. This is the number we're rounding to. The 8 tells the 1 to go up because our red rule says if it's 5 or more, you got to go up. Okay, so the 1 is going to become a 2 and the 8 becomes a 0. So we need one, two, three, four, five zeros. We put our comma in. Now we've got a one and a zero next to it. The zero tells the one to stay the same. And now it and all the ones behind it are going to be zero. So we have one, two, three, four, five zeros. Put our comma in. Do our addition comma, and 3. So, this was an 8. Sorry, I messed it up. So 186,117 plus 109,264 is estimated to be 300,000. So that's how you estimate, and that's how you add and regroup. Just make sure you keep your columns straight so that when you regroup you put it in the correct column. Make sure that you remember the red rule that if the number to the right is a 5 or more, sorry about the focus there, that if the number to the right of the place value you're rounding is a 5 or more, that it tells that place value to go up to the next number. If it's less than 5, if it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, it tells the number to stay the same. Okay? Keep up the good work. I'll see you next video. Bye.